Hey everyone, it is Roaring the Werewolf back in the world of Skyrim. I'm here at the Skyforge just hanging out with Yorlin and the companions. I have actually managed to get back to the point I was with companions questline so I can continue making videos for that. Now I have to start working on the Dawn Guard. We're getting closer, we're getting closer. Join with me today is my own creation of course you've probably already realized it after the last two videos is Zelina which was here. my character in World of Warcraft she was a Beastmaster Marksman Hunter all with a raiding guild and everything she, she was awesome I had almost every single spirit beast until I said screw it I I'm not collecting anymore I have almost all of them <laughs> and also lead on then another person who I just happened to stumble upon she calls herself serenity and she <laughs> says she is one of the last snow elves the companion sent me a, to clear out a Falmer cave and apparently she was there captured and worshipped at the same time so she's probably like a lost snow elf princess or something like that she doesn't know she's just only knows being locked up in that cave for as long as she can be so i decided to have her tag along with me i'm right behind you she does magic so we have her equipped with staff and a nice little outfit Ooh, this is actually alpha. her city gear she looks different whenever she's in combat the same with Zal, she's sporting her, uh, yeah, her city stuff. And of course with me is Janessa. So, Warren and the three elves. <laughs> We're actually on our way to the Yarl because he asked us to take a look into the matter of one of his children. Apparently, well, one of his children's acting like a little bastard. And I'm not talking about the daughter, either. <laughs> yeah, the daughter is spoiled. But one of his sons is kind of raging about something. So we're going to give a little talk to to see what's going on. Maybe three beautiful elves will help him out. Help that little boy out come to his senses. Ah. <laughs> uh. Now, as I am recording this, I am up to 85 s subscribers on my YouTube channel. I... <laughs> it actually puts me in a good mood. And I'm so close. Just 15 shy of actually doing the Helgen Reborn modded questline. I can't wait. I can't wait. Hundred I haven't even seen any videos on it. I just know it's good. I excluded looking at any spoilers so it would be a brand new experience for me here in the world of Skyrim I I am so excited just just 15 more and I'll be able to start working on that sub bonus special videos may the gods watch over your battles friend your Brodgriff I heard there is trouble with one of your children yes my youngest son He's a dark child. I don't know what to do with him. He was always a quiet lad, but lately, something has changed. He's become brooding, violent. He won't say a word to me, but I don't know how I upset him. If you could speak to him, draw out the truth, I would be immensely grateful. All right. We can go ahead and talk to him. Oh, it's that one. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Please. So, the disgusting pig sent you to bother me. One day, I'll tear his face apart so he can leave me alone. <laughs> my father doesn't know anything about me. But I know about him and about the war more than he might think. Really? What sort of things? I know that he still worships Talos, 
That he hates the Thalmor almost as much as the Stormcloaks do. That he worries about being chased from Whiterun. That he... That I'm... That I don't have the same mother as my brother and sister. How... How would you know these things? The castle is old. Lots of places nobody's been in a long while. Places where you can overhear things. See things. And the Whispering Lady. What? Who the hell's the Whispering Lady? She won't tell me her name. I've gotten good at listening to keyholes. At the door in the basement, I hear her talking to me. I thought I was caught, but she started telling me even more secrets. But I can't open the door. Where is this door? In the basement. Trust me, you'll see it. I bet she'll talk to you too. Alright then. Okay. Hmm. In the basement. Somewhere down here. Man, this door is old. At last. I've been waiting for someone more fit to carry out my will. The child is spirited but lacks agency. Was there. No, somebody can't be behind that door. Being locked up this time. I was starved to death. Who the frack are you? Regrettably, I cannot reach your plane so directly. But I forgive you for not knowing who I am. Few hear my whispers anymore. I am Mephala, the Lady of Whispers. I tug at the web of connections between mortals. Love, hatred, loyalty, betrayal. The boy was good at sussing out secrets. You, I expect to take a more active role. Okay. What would you want me to do? First, you must open this door. A piece of my power has been locked away behind it. And even my eyes cannot see past the seals. I'd much rather it be in the hands of an ambitious and talented person, such as yourself. All right, how would I open this door then? The whole of Whiterun is ripe with paranoia and tensions. The Jarl's court is right to fear the power I hold behind this door. The Jarl trusts few, and they will be his undoing. The Dark Child knows of what I speak. Let him guide your path. Okay. Hmm. Something's fishy. Yeah. Hold such power. Ooh, a locked door. I can't get past it. Meh, meh. Y'all, what's going on? What is it that you need? Okay. Now, if you don't mind. I've got a city to keep. You. You know the Whispering Lady, don't you? I can tell. Well, yeah, I just spoken to her. By the way, do you know how to open the bloody door? I told you, I know everything about the castle. For some reason, that door is special. Only two people can open it. Balgroof and Farangar, the court wizard. How you get it from them is up to you. Nobody would notice if Farangar went missing, I promise you. He's sitting Bye. right next to you. <laughs> uh. You have my attention. Uh, I can't seem mm -hmm. to talk him out given the key. How about you? 
Divine smile on you, friend. Hmm. You have nothing either. You know, either. if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Well, looks like we're gonna have to put a save to it real quick. And I think I have an invisibility potion lying around here somewhere. And there's the key. And check, make sure nobody saw me. Okay, we're good. Let's come back down here and grab whatever the frack is in this room. That is so powerful. Yeah. <laughs> The ebony blade. Beware to anyone who reads this. Beware of the blade. It is hoped that only people who have access to this room should be the Jarl White Run and his trusted wizard. If anyone else is reading this, please understand the magnitude of your folly. Turn around and never even speak of this room to anyone. Or well, this blade. It has corrupted and perverted the desires of great men and women. Yet its power is without equal. To kill while your victim smiles at you. Only a Daedra most foul could have concocted such a malevolent and twisted weapon. But it appears all who wield it end up with the crazed eyes of those wild men who roam the hills, chattering with rabbits. It is not to be trifled with, not even the hottest fires of the Skyforge can melt it. Indeed, the coals themselves seem to cool. It was placed within. We cannot destroy it, and we would not have it fall into the hands of our enemies. So we keep it hidden, dark, and deep within Dragon's Reach, never to be used. Woe to any who choose to take it. Okay, I'll take that. So, this blade absorbs the life essence of your phone, strengthened by the blood of deceit. Excellent work. Now, I trust you're sharp enough to see that the sword doesn't match the description of the ebony blade you may know. It has languished too long outside the winds of alliance and betrayal. To return to its past glory, it must first drink the blood of deceit. Your world is admirably seeped in lies and inclinations. My blade is a darling leech that feeds on deceptions and nourishes its master. Seek out those closest to you. The final pluck of their misguided heartstrings will accompany my blade in the song of your grandeur. So, basically I have to kill my friends. Hmm. Well, unfortunately I do know a little bit of tricks behind how to get the ebony blade back up and running to its former glory. It requires a lot of bums and giving them a piece of gold along with the ability to resurrect the dead so we'll bring them back to life and kill them again because I believe it's uh 
Every 10 friends that you kill, I believe 10 is the max. So it levels up every two. So you kill one bum and then you res him and then kill him again. And then that levels it up. Isn't that right? All right. We're gonna have to test this trick because I know it works in the console version. I have done it already in the 360, but I'm not sure about the PC, especially with all these mods that I have installed. And I'm sure that we can upgrade it thanks to the mods that I have installed, make it legendary, which you can't do in, you, you can't do it in the console version. Oh. Kind of nice being in on the secret, isn't it? Well, he's a lot more nicer to me now. Hi there. Well, that's good. <laughs> Speak your mind. Well, he should be a little bit more nicer All now right. that I took away whatever was influencing him. You don't need to know how I did it. I just did it. I shall be on my way, y'all. Everything should be all right. You can thank me later. <laughs> A nice little short quest there for you guys. Yeah, until I get all back to my former glory and my former power. I have a lot of levels to level up. A lot of stuff to discover again. And a lot of toys to get. But... I will still try to fill as what I can my channel with videos. I am Warren the Werewolf. Thank you for joining me and my three elves. My three beautiful elves. And we shall see you all in the next video. You guys stay furry. Bye-bye.